Hey guys, Zong here, back another math video. Um, I've been busy with finals and adjusting to my internship, and Daniel is at MOP, so sorry for the lack of videos for the past few weeks, um, but I'll be getting back into it. So today we're going to be studying uh, this interesting topic called derangements, and uh, essentially, it's it's a it's a field of math that involve that is a subfield of counting so stuff like um, essentially stuff like combinations, permutations, etc. So so normally if you had a combination let, let's say you have let's say you have four boys and you had four scarves and everything is distinct and how would you well, how many ways could you distribute these four scarves to these four boys? Well, with the first scarf, you can choose four boys to give it to. So, so these are the boys. Four scarves can 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 go to this boy. Oops. What? Um, three can go to this boy because this scarf was taken by this boy number one. So there's three scarves left. Three of them can go to boy. Three, uh, boy two can choose from three of them. Boy three can choose from two of them. Boy four can choose from one of them. So essentially, um, of course this is just basic counting, that's 4 factorial which is 24. So there's 24 ways you can give 4 distinct scarves to um, 4 distinct boys. So derangements are sort of different in that, um, in that, in that there's a restriction. There's a restriction. So let's say you have 4 scarves and 4, four boys but but each of the boys, um, each of the boys has their own scarf. So let's say boy number one has scarf number one, and boy number two has scarf number two, and boy number three has scarf number three, and boy number four has scarf number four. And you want to distribute the scarves among the boys. So they all don't get their own scarf, and that's what a derangement is. So where are some times this might be useful? So let's say let's say you had a gift exchange, like a Christmas gift exchange, and you had a classroom of students, and they each had to give a gift to each other, and they would pick names of other students out of a hat, uh, of which they could give gifts to. Um, but if they choose themselves, this doesn't work, right? So just like in this scenario, if a boy gets their own scarf, it's not valid. How many ways can you have it so that boys don't get their own scarves? So let's just do the same thing and see what happens. So to approach this problem, let's just go through and do some casework. Uh, boy 1 can either have scarf 2, scarf 3, or scarf 4. So boy 1 can have... Um, Boy one has let's say boy one has scarf two, right? Um, then boy two can have scarf one, and then boy three and boy four could switch. Oh, whoops! Right. So this work. This is one possible. Let's say uh, boy one has scarf two and boy two has scarf one. Is there another way we can arrange these? Uh, there isn't because this is not a valid combination because boy three gets his own scarf. So um, this is the only combination if boy one has scarf two and boy two has scarf one. Uh, what if boy one has scarf? Uh, boy two has scarf three. What about that? Uh, boy two has scarf three. Then boy three can have scarf one, right? And then, but that leaves boy four with scarf four, so it doesn't work. So this has to have scarf four, and this has to have scarf one, right? Um, okay, that's scarf two, scarf four. Uh, we do the same thing. So boy three could have scarf one. Let's see what happens. Boy four could have scarf three. Huh? That seems to work out fine. And um, yeah, so right now we see that. Now, are there any other combinations that work if boy 1 has scarf 2? I don't think so, because boy 2 could have either scarf 1, scarf 3, or scarf 4, not scarf 2, because boy 1 has taken it. And then that leaves one combination for each of these. 
Okay, so we have three possible uh, derangements, I should say, uh, in which boy one has scarf two. Then we can do the same th thing for scarf three, because it's a symmetrical sim uh, it's a symmetrical um, situation. So if he has scarf three, there are also three ways to do it, and also three ways to do it if he has scarf four. So there's three for scarf two, three for scarf three, and three for scarf four, because all the situations are syn uh, synonymous and symmetric symmetric so if he has scarf 3 then you would just replace you know you would just do the exact same thing so there are a total of 9 derangements oh no sorry my uh, okay so there are a total of 9 derangements um for four boys so what happens if you have three boys Well, I think it's still it's it's easier. Um, this can have scarf two. Um, this can have scarf uh, three. This can have scarf one. Uh, then scarf one. Nope, not scarf one. Scarf two. Um, scarf sorry. Scarf two. Scarf three, and then scarf. Wait, that's the same thing. Sorry. Scarf 3, Scarf 1, Scarf 2. And then you have um, the situation. I think I think with three boys, that's pretty much it. Um, so for three boys, you have two derangements. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's that. Um, for two boys, what about two boys? Let's think about this. Let's 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 think about this carefully. So for two boys, it's really simple. There's a wonder engine. One derangement and four. Let's say let's have one for one boy. Oh, ho, ho, wait, wait. With one boy, there are no derangements. Why? Because you can't have the boy give something to himself. You can't have the boy can only take his own scarf. Um, he. That, there are zero derangements. There are zero ways in which the boy can take someone else's scarf and not have his own. And uh, for one of the trivial cases, what about zero boys? Well, there's only one way you can have zero boys have to not take their own scarf. They don't exist. So there's one way. There's one derangement. Um, I think we can we can we have enough to form a sequence. Um, so if you guys remember. Our sequence was, let's say, boys, derangements. So we had one, two, oh, sorry, we had zero, one, two, three, four. And we had um, one, zero, one, zero, one, two, nine. Not much of a pattern here, um, but I'm going to te I'm going to tell you actually what the pattern is and that pattern is that the number of derangements for an n number of boys is equal to n minus 1 times and the symbol for derangements is a uh, it's like an exclamation mark except it comes before before the number instead of after the number so it's uh plus And let's see if this formula works. So we start out with these two numbers, 1 and 0. For 2, n equals 2, this becomes 1, which is 1 plus 0 plus 1. Um, that is, sorry, 1 times 0 plus 1, so it's 1 times 1, which is 1. Uh, let's try it for 3. So for 
that's two times let's do that two times this, this which is equal to two times one which is two so that works it's four it's three times uh, which is three times two plus one which is nine so this is the formula for derangements, and this is an only an introduction to derangements. Um, and I'll keep continuing with this topic for the next few videos. Um, and I might prove this formula and give you an easier formula to work with. This is the total, and this is the number of cases in which the reds aren't assigned to the ones. You divide this by the total number of ways again.